What's up, guys? The Jugger Winter Games were last weekend, and I just wanted to give my thoughts on them. It was really cold out there. Last year we had rain, and this year we had wind. And now I have bronchitis. It's great. Having really miserable weather is a staple of the Winter Games at this point. But despite that, I had really enjoyed myself. I didn't get as much footage as I would have liked, but I had a great time. We got to camp with Junktown and the Wasteland Wolves and the Wrecking Crew and the New World Pirates are there. So it was kind of like the party hub by our tents and we stayed up till the wee hours freezing to death. I also cut my fucking eyeball. It hurts. That wind, man, it just picks up all that sand and grit. Goggles are like a post-apocalyptic cliche for a reason because that shit is necessary. The Jugger game was great. Major props to them and all the performers who did their shows in the crazy wind. The Last Chance Casino was there. And, uh, you know, I went out to the Winter Games this year with one goal. And that was to get me one of those goddamn casino VIP passes. And I knew if I got one of those, surviving the below 20 degree temperatures and the dust and the chapping wind, it'd all be worth it. And now I can say, I didn't get one. But despite all that, I got to see my buddies. Attack played and they were awesome. Fox and the Red Hairs also played and they were also awesome. Midway through the event, the weather became like really unbearable. So we got to momentarily escape to cross-eyed cow pizza. So 10 out of 10. Despite the fact this event isn't an official Wasteland weekend event, it is a big part of the Wasteland community. A lot of the local Wasteland tribes make it out. Some of the staple performers like the Molotov Mollies and the Badland Savages come out. The Last Chance Casino is always there, the Juggers are a big deal, so their events are always a big to-do. But the major difference between the Jugger Winter Games and Wasteland Weekend, and all of Wasteland World Inc.'s like, official events, is that the Jugger Winter Games allow in children under 18. A lot, if not most, PA events are for people ages 18 and up. And for something as massive as Wasteland Weekend, this totally makes sense. But the Winter Games are much smaller and much more introductory, and I personally kind of like that aspect. I'm gonna be honest, talking to people at the event, the opinions on this were a little mixed, but in my opinion, I thought it was really cool. All the kids I interacted with were having a blast. They're well behaved, there are lots of activities created just for them, and their presence wasn't like intruding upon my experience. Some people seemed to think it was, and I really don't think that's possible. I don't remember if it was the commissioner of the league or chief that said it, but one of them said something during setup that I thought was really true. And that's that the key to keeping this community going well past when we're all old timers is to get the kids involved, get new generations interested, and I really believe that. Too many people in the Wasteland community are possessive of it. They don't want to share it and they want it to be all theirs because they're passionate about it. But that's not right. New people are not intruders, they're potentially new friends and you might be missing out on what they have to offer the community if your idea of what a Wastelander is is too narrow. Are there some performances or activities that take place at the Winter Games that are not suited for children? Well, that kind of depends on your definition. For example, there are burlesque performances and stuff. They mostly take place late at night, and that is really up to the parents' discretion of what they're comfortable with their kids seeing. The event closes to the public around 5, I believe, but camping can be purchased, which gives you access to the late night events. And you may camp with your kids as long as you register them. There are alcoholic drinks that are served at the event, but those under 21 were given a special wristband, so they would not have access to that kind of thing. The staff and everyone were really good when it came to that kind of stuff. I always recommend the Winter Games as an introductory event for people interested in attending Wasteland Weekend, and I'd be really happy if it got the reputation for that. I know if I was a kid, I would love it, and I'd beg every year to go, just eagerly awaiting until I was old enough to go to Wasteland. So just to be self-indulgent for a minute, let me wrap up this video by showing you some of the swag I got at the event. So I got the Jerry Maguire from Moth Eater because I'm all about collecting them Jerry's. But I also got not one, but two Last Chance Casino patches. And uh, buying these helps support their tribe. And look at this one. You wear this one on like your back or something. You flip it over and you got a fucking surprise there. So I've been listening to like a lot of Bill Burr. Isn't that fucking neato? My buddy Cherry gave me this little stash box that used to have cherry sours in it. Get it? Her name is Cherry and it has cherry sour. It was, it was funny. 
and I got some attack swag. I actually have a package on the way with like more of this stuff, but it's not here yet, so I picked up a second patch. And I believe this is their new EP. And this is from my buddy Kip from the Trolling Buzzards. It's like one of our allied tribes. It's etched, it looks like it's on steel, it's heavy. It's pretty fucking cool, thanks Kip.